Can you just cover my face more? <laughs> okay, so good evening. It's so good to be back. Like, so good to be doing this again. Okay, please let me apologize for my silence and my absence. Yeah, but hey, I'm back here and um, we'll be doing this for a very long time by the grace of God. So again, I want to reintroduce um, wholeness with Dorothy, what we do and what we start for. And wholeness with Dorothy um, came from a place of um, a place of wanting people to live a whole life. It's not enough to say, oh, today I'm happy, tomorrow I'm sad. But there has to be a continuity, there has to be a progress. So wholeness with Dorothy has come to help you live the life of that you are meant to live the whole life the full life you're supposed to live in god and here we are going to be talking about abuse um emotional physical and um, verbal abuse we're talking about addiction we're talking about depression we have to just wait for it we're talking about anxiety we talk about god and um every other aspect of our daily lives where we come in contact with on a daily basis. So those are the major things we are going to focus on on wholeness with Dorothy. And there are already a lot of things lined up. So just wait for it because um, in the next few weeks, you know, um, I'll be breaking some news and you know how this is going to move further. So today I'm just going to share a few nuggets and um, we kick off uh, officially next week Thursday. So today is just a few learnings that I've had to um, uh, I've learned from yesterday, today, and over the past few weeks. And the first one is um, even if you cost, even if you made a mistake, let's assume you by yourself took yourself um to the fire. You went to put your hand inside the fire, or you cost some mistake. When you stay in the place of prayer, when you pray, when you genuinely repent. And then you stay in the place of prayer. God is able to alter the course of your life. God is able to change things for you. God is able to go, you know, he's able to give you a new sheet. He's able to give you a new slate because he is God. He has it all. He knows it all. He is not waiting for you. You know, um, Pastor Miss Oluwa said something. She says that, um, you know, when you make a mistake or when something bad happens to you, God is not going to say, yeah, you know, this person has just um, lost her job or this person is sick. Hey, Angel Gabriel, Angel Mikey, what are we going to do? No, he already has everything figured out. God has got your life figured out. So you need to know that the only way you can access it is staying in the place of prayer. It's staying in accordance to the will of God for your life. You know, asking him on a daily basis, what do you have me do? What do you want me to do? I am here. I'm stuck here. I'm doing this. Is this your will? Is this what you want for me? That is one of the ways you are going to get out of it. And second one is um, God is able to give you a fresh start regardless of where you are, where you're from, what you're doing, what you think you've done, how what you think you've missed. God is able to give you a fresh start. He's able to make you start all over again. In fact, and the good thing about God is he's not going to take you from the scratch. He's able to um, crush time for you. So what took other people 10 years, 15 years, you find out that in 10 months, you're already achieving results. You have results and people are like, so how do you do it? But you just started, you're supposed to be a novice. That's because God is able to give you a fresh start and that happens in the place of you tiring in prayer tiring in god and then living hey destiny hi thank you so much for joining me thank you darling and um and i learned something yesterday in church and um it just it it was um, a song was playing and then holy president ministering to me and it's um if god loved me you know when i was a sinner like I had not even acknowledged him as my Lord and personal savior. If God loved me then, if God um, showed me so much care to die for me when I didn't even acknowledge him, when I didn't see him as anything, what makes me think now that I have given my life to him that he's going to abandon me? No, God is never going to abandon you regardless of who you are or what you're doing as long as you are stayed on him as long as your life is on him as long as you're living 
Hello, Joan. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. As long as your mind is stayed on God, He is never going to abandon you. He said, Can a mother forget her suckling child? Yes, a mother can in war, if anything can happen, and then a mother just decides or, or, or just forgets the child. But God can never forget. And that is the confidence I have in Him that, you know what, regardless of what is happening around me, you've got me covered you are with me you are staying with me you are living with me you are here for me and you know every details of my life and then wholeness and fulfillment comes from a place of living out your passion if you are doing the thing god has called you to do because really yes we all have our job we have everything we are doing but god created you for a purpose god created you to solve a particular problem and no matter how much you make a salary, if you don't live the life God has called you to live, you are going to feel empty. I'm saying this from a place of experience. I remember I was making huge sum of money and I'm like, God, is this just what all life is all about? Is this just about living, waking up and then going to work, come back, eat, sleep? Is that all that is to life? And I realized that I didn't find fulfillment until I started living out my God-given life. Until I started um, fulfilling the purpose of God for my life. Until I asked him, God, what would you have me to do per season? And then he told me, and then I began to live it out. That was when I started feeling fulfilled. And then I started feeling this sense of wholeness. So until you live the life God has called you to live, you will not find fulfillment. It's not a curse. All you, just all you just have to do is live that particular life that um, God has called you to do. Find out if you don't already know it. In the place of prayer, ask God, why did you create me? What is my role here on earth? Because you, 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 know, you don't waste resources, so you wouldn't just create me for nothing. So ask him what his plan for your life is, and you will find fulfillment even as you begin to live that kind of life. And another thing... Um, that um i want to talk about is actor no they die for fame <laughs> that is a great nugget i've hold, held on to for so long regardless of what is happening if you're living in your zone if you're living the life god has called you to live if you're acting according to the script god has written for you you will not die trust me actors don't die in movies if you especially in nigerian movies and or and even most of the scoring movies they have a way of surviving all the accidents the gunshots the stabs and everything they just have a way of surviving and that is how it is until you are done until you are done until you have done all god said okay this is where the script ends Nothing can take you out. Every other thing that comes, the trials, the temptation, they will come. In at times, you just feel, oh, there is no tomorrow. Everything has ended. But no, they can never take you out. They can never take you out, regardless of what it is. No matter how hot, how bad you think it is, you always find out that you are scaling through. You are surviving. You are living, and you're like, oh wow, how did I go through this? You know. Most times I look back and I'm like, really? How did I overcome this? How did I go through this? Are you sure I went through this? That's because I am the actor of my own script. In the movie, I am the actor, the main babe, the main guy. So I cannot die. It's also telling you that regardless of what it is you're going through, you cannot die until you fulfill the plans and purposes of God for your life. Another thing is um, faith is a substance. You know, they say, well, the Bible says faith is a substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Faith is a substance. If you're having faith, it means that there is something you're holding on to. Either a word from God or a picture in your heart. So, and um, hope different makes the heart sick. You know, so you have, you need to have faith. You need to have this faith in God. You need to know that, God, this is what I am holding on to. This is what your word says, and I'm holding on to it. Once you have faith in God and the things God has said concerning you, you will just find out that life, no matter what it brings, you are hopeful. You are There is something that keeps you going on a daily basis. And then seek God. Seek God. Seek the will of God. Seek the plans of God for your life. Seek it. You know, 
pray you, and you do that by praying by studying your bible by reading by fellowshipping with the brethren you cannot sit at home and say god i know you talk to me and god talks to you but there is uh, um there is this um peace there is this um joy there is something that happens to you when you're in the congregation of the saints people who reason alive who have the same goal with you so you know just leave it out leave it um find a faith believing church to attend and just live the life god has called you to live and um a big announcement for tonight even as we bring this to a close um there is on saturday something is happening hi moji hi chioma thank you so much for joining moji how are you it's been a long while um okay so on saturday choice Souls media is organizing a nine hours praying in tongue like literally for nine hours you're going to be praying in tongues and we are doing that for nigeria we are seeking a new nigeria we have talked so much about it it's time to pray about it and also act by getting our pvcs and voting but now on saturday there are different centers but in lagos here is in maryland global harvest church find your way down to that place on saturday by 8 a.m and if you're outside nigeria outside um legal states we have in kebi we have in abuja sokoto ijebode there are centers all around but you need to you don't you don't want to miss this move of god you know i've told myself that i want to be in the center of the move of god in this my generation so find a way to be a part of it if you're not going to be available you can tune in online and just make sure you are part of what god is doing in this our generation i want to say a very big thank you to you for being um being here thank you for listening thank you for taking our time to um fellowship with me today and um, until i come your way next week you have to live a whole life and the way you do that is by acknowledging god and by knowing that you are not in mistake that everything that has happened to you has happened for a reason and at the end everything will make sense thank you for watching share with your friends tell your friends about it and until i see you next week thursday remain rapturable thank you